Silhouette charge. Secure backing material so that it's large enough to allow assault or breach team entry. Cut a 2 inch by 4 inch rectangle notch out from each side of the hinge to allow relief for the deck cord when it is folded in half if using rigid backing material that needs to be folded. This creates a hinge that allows the charge to fold easily. Cut a 2 inch by 5 inch rectangular hole 1 to 2 inches from the side and center through both target pieces to create a carrying handle for the charge while it is folded. Create a prop stick holder by creating a prop pocket attachment that is large enough to support the prop stick. Ensure that the opening of the prop pocket faces the bottom of the charge. Note, secure the deck cord to the backing material so that the charge maintains its proper configuration and ensures deck cord to deck cord contact. Tape over the deck cord with tape. Fold the first 12 foot piece of deck cord in half to find the center. Start from the top center of the charge and place the deck cord along the outside edge. Work your way to the bottom center. Place both ends together to find where, the pl where to place the last piece of double sided tape and attach the deck cord. Continue with the remaining 12 foot strands of deck cord. Start from the top center and wrap each cord inside of the last to ensure deck cord to deck cord contact. Note, the ends of the deck cord will overlap at, after the first wrap. Tightly alternate the wraps to form a kicker charge at the bottom to assist in clearing studs from the bottom plate. The obstacle construction material type determines the number of wraps. Five wraps of deck cord are required for interior walls, studs, and sheetrock. Six wraps of deck cord are required for roof shingles and plywood. And eight wraps of deck cord are required for block walls. When the determined number of 12 foot wraps has been completed, add the final 13 foot wrap to the inside of the 12 foot wraps forming a 6 inch priming loop at the bottom center of the target. Tape priming loop ends together. Place the deck cord on the target side of the charge and route the priming loop through the hole that was previously made in the backing material. Prevent damage to the charge by securing all exposed deck cord to the backing material with tape. Construct a means, such as tape or prop stick, for securing the charge to the target.